I know why I'm feeling extra insecure now considering that all of my vlogs I'm basically makeup free. Hello everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day 18. I'll be home for Christmas. Today's Vlogmas video is going to be another sit down one because ever since I posted my Q&A video, I have gotten a ton of requests to do a makeup tutorial of that look. Let's be real. I do the same holiday makeup every single year. It's a red lip, brown, goldy, glittery eye, and that's basically it. But I think the reason why I got more requests this year was because of how my eyebrows look. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but my eyebrow routine has changed drastically since I've discovered these products. Products and I am just always so excited to do my brows and I always feel so pretty afterwards So I think that's why there were more requests than usual But I figured you know what I'm using a ton of new products that I have been loving so let's sit down Let's do this makeup look. It's really easy. I'm not a makeup expert I've never claimed to be a makeup guru. So if I can do it you can too with that being said Let's get on to the video I'm gonna start this makeup look off by first moisturizing my lips. Both my skin and my lips have been super dry the past couple of weeks. I don't know what that's about. I mean, obviously, I think the weather plays a big part. It's raining right now, so I really hope you can't hear the rain outside. MAC Prep and Prime Lip Primer. I love this so, so much. I rave about it all the time. You can use a normal lip balm or use a lip balm that you love. I personally just love using this, especially when I'm doing my makeup. It just keeps it moisturized the entire time. Your time. I'm gonna zoom you guys a little bit more. By the way, I've curled my hair for the occasion because I figured I'm gonna commit to this sit down makeup video. So I'm gonna do my hair, which I never do because I'm terrible at it. I digress onto the makeup. I'm gonna go in with my base primer, and these two in particular are my go to's. I first like to go in with the one size Secure the Blur Makeup Magnet Primer. It's really mattifying, it definitely fills your pores, and it does smoothen out my skin. I like to use this specifically on the center of my face. I never really used to use primers before. I never thought that they worked. I was wrong. Primers are a great step. I also apologize in advance if the lighting keeps changing. It's raining outside. So I've worked the one size primer in the center of my face and then I just bring it out. I'm actually gonna go in with another one of my favorites, Vanilla Co Hydrating Prime Primer. I just like to take a little bit and that's what I work in the outer parts of my face. And then something that I've recently discovered that has definitely helped the concealer under my eyes from creasing or getting all patchy. I take the hydrating primer just a little bit on my ring finger, use it as sort of like an under eye cream. I'll just lightly dab that and let it set. I have very creasy, <laughs> sounds so weird, creasy under eyes, but this stops them from creasing. Now that I'm all primed up, I'm going to do my eyebrows first before my base. I started doing this also fairly recently and I've just been loving the look of it more. It's so much easier to achieve bushy, laminated brows before you do your base because you don't have to worry about the foundation or the concealer kind of going everywhere or mixing with the brow gel. And the reason why I've really been enjoying doing my brows now is because I honestly feel like I have found my holy grail eyebrow gel. And I know I've said that a lot in the past, but those gels really did work for me at the time. But this has been a standout brow product, so much so that this is my second tube. And during Lazada's 1212, I ordered two more. It is absolutely fantastic. Strokes, brow pick in the shade clear and then I use my refi brow gel comb and brush tool first the brow gel it's got two sides one side of the brush is fluffy and the other side is flat I will work it one brow at a time brush them in the opposite direction just to coat them with the fluffy side of the brush that looks like a crazy brow and then I'm gonna take the flat side and that's what I'm gonna use to brush them upward that's the brow gel on I'm then gonna take my refi comb and I'm gonna brush them up up onto my skin, give them that laminated look. And you can already see they're kind of like brow gel specks, but that's gonna go away. And then brush side, I'm going to shake them. I really feel like that's what changed the makeup look a lot compared to how I used to do my makeup before. That's a really great comparison. Look at the difference in brown. <laughs> The 
Those are the brows done. I'm gonna fill them in later on. I'm gonna move on to the base. I'm going to start with one of my favorite new products that I really feel like has also helped give me such a lovely, healthy glow. Issy & Co. True Flex Illuminator, and this is in the shade Halo. I feel like this is what the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter has been doing for people. It makes a great cream highlighter, but it also makes a really lovely, glowy base before you put on your foundation. I put a generous amount. This makes me look so healthy and glowy. On my forehead, I kind of avoid the center, so I put it on the outer parts. That just provides the loveliest glow. And then I'm gonna move on to my foundation. Now, normally, if I were going to like a friend dinner or like a family Christmas function, I would just use a tinted moisturizer. And the one that I absolutely love is also by Issy & Co. This is their active skin tint. I've got it in the shade Fawn. This is perfect. But for today, I'm gonna go in with one of my current favorite foundations, which is light on the skin but still offers really great coverage and is buildable. So I feel like if you're looking for a happy middle between an actual foundation and a skin tint, it's this. Tarte Shape Tape Cloud Foundation. It's one of my go-tos, especially if I want a very natural but still even base. I've got this in the shade 22N Light Neutral. I'll leave everything linked in the description box if they're still available. It has a pump, which I think is great. Very easy to travel with because it's in the squeezy tube. And a little of this does go a long way. Put about two pumps worth onto my face and then after I blend it out, if I feel like I need coverage in certain areas, I'll go back and put a little bit more. I'll either go in with my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush or my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. Both are very dirty. I know I have to clean them. I think for this look, I'm going to use my sponge. Aside from wetting it under the tap, I also like to spritz a little bit of my makeup setting spray. This is just the Mactix Plus. I love using a beauty sponge because it really stops you from putting too much product. That's the first layer of foundation done. Covered quite a bit of my discoloration. I still have a couple of red patches, so I am going to go in with a little bit more just to spot correct. For my concealers, I'm gonna go in with two. The first one is the Tarte C Concealer. I've got this in the shade 25N Light Medium Neutral. I'm gonna be using this for my face and then for under my eyes, I'm gonna go in with my Issy & Co Active Concealer in the shade PL2. This is more of a peachy concealer and it's perfect for correcting and brightening the darkness under your eyes. Just on the center and the outer part. And then I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Concealer areas that the foundation really just couldn't cover. Very lightly blend out the concealer. I'm going very light because I don't want it to pick up a lot of the concealer, but I'm barely applying any pressure. I'm also going to put a little bit of concealer on the lid, whatever is left on the sponge, just so I have a nice, even base for my eyeshadow lid. Before I set my face, I'm going to go in with two more cream products. I love doing this step because I feel like it helps make my makeup look more natural, and it makes my skin still look glowy even if I've set it with powder. First, going to go in with a cream contour. This is also from Strokes, Face Sculpt in the shade Peanut. I'm going to look a little crazy, but I saw this on TikTok. I tried it, and I absolutely love it. I'm going to go under my cheekbone and down like that. I know it looks insane, but I'm telling you right now, trust the process. Chin, my jaw, forehead, and down my nose. I look ridiculous! Real Techniques sculpting brush, and I'm going to lightly blend out that contour. Looks really crazy now, but it'll look really natural because this Strokes contour is actually super blendable. Do you see how slim and chiseled that looks? Bella Hadid, I'm coming for you, girl. It's crazy what makeup can do. I'm gonna go in with my favorite cream blush. I swear I am not being paid by Issy & Co. They just send me their products and I end up loving them all. Cream blush in the shade Baby Girl. Using my Real Techniques Tapered Cheek Brush, lightly put some of that blush just up here, which is also something I learned on TikTok. I used to always just do my blush in the center, but you're supposed to actually work it in an upwards motion to help give you a more chiseled high cheekbone. This is what really helps me look glowy. 
before I set my face, I'm gonna go back in with my beauty sponge and just make sure everything is blended. To set my under eyes, I'm gonna go in with my one size translucent powder. This is fantastic, so light. And I love to use this. This is a new discovery for me and it has changed my under eye makeup game. This is also by Real Techniques. This is their powder makeup sponge. I don't wet mine. I actually don't know if you're supposed to, but I don't wet mine. I just go in with the powder and then I bake under my eyes. I know a lot of people no longer bake. I still do, all the way down the side of my nose. And then with whatever is left, I'm just gonna lightly set the rest of my face. I don't wanna go too heavy handed with the powder because again, I wanna have a more natural, glowy makeup look. I'm gonna go in with my Benefit Hoola Bronzer. I'm gonna use the little Hoola brush that comes with it because I accidentally dropped my bronzer brush. We're gonna make this work. I lightly go in like that, blend out that bronzer on my jawline and down my neck, forehead, but just the outer part. And then whatever is left, down my nose. Benefit California blush. It's a really lovely bright pink blush. It has a little bit of like a shimmer in it So I feel like that will also help me look a little bit more glowy. Go over the bronzer, blend them in together And then whatever is left, I'm gonna do on my nose. I'm gonna zoom you in more. For my eyes, I'm gonna go in with my favorite palette of all time. I talk about this all the flippin' time. Tarte Tartlet Toasted Palette. It has every neutral, matte, shimmery, and glitter shade you could ever want or need. It's got a big mirror, which makes it great for traveling as well. I'm gonna go in with a big, fluffy brush. The shade S'more, light nude shade, all over my lid as a base. And then with another unclean brush. I really need to wash my brushes. I'm gonna go in with the shade Latte, which is a neutral matte brown. And I'm going to work it from the outer corner of my eye. Work it into the crease. You don't have to be precise with this. You don't have to be perfect. Kind of like what I like to call my blending shade. Using the same brush, I'm gonna go back into Latte, tap off the excess, pinch the brush, put some of that shadow under my eye. I'm gonna take a smaller, more pointed brush. This one is by Happy Skin. I have no idea what it's called. It just says Glam Squad on it. I'm gonna go in with a darker color, the shade Cozy, which is also a matte brown. I'm gonna do kind of like a cat eye, but focusing it on the outer corner. Lightly draw, and then I'm gonna take it onto my crease. I'm gonna go into Cozy again tap off the excess and I'm gonna work it under my eye but I'm only gonna go halfway. I'm gonna go in with the same brush that I went in with Latte, blend it out. The shade Sunrise, shimmery version of S'more. Brush that underneath my brow. Glittery, shimmery inner corner, the shade Candle. Beautiful light gold. Work that from the inner corner all the way to half of my lid. Fluffy blending brush. Just gonna go over that. Big fluffy brush. This is the highlighter that I'm gonna use on my face, but I'm gonna put it on my eyes. This is by ColourPop. This is their Harry Potter collaboration, and it's the Hedwig highlighter. It's so, so freaking cute. It's got like a bunch of different colors in it. It's the most unique highlighter I've ever owned. It's the same brush that I used to dip candle in. A Little bit of that highlight, and I'm gonna work the inner corner and bring it out. See how much brighter it looks when you add a little bit of highlighter? I love that! I've zoomed you guys back out. Say hello to Katana and John, by the way, in the corner. <laughs> Got a rash that I'm not even gonna attempt to cover. Before I do my highlighter, I'm gonna brush off any excess powder that I have under my eyes. But the great thing about the One Size Translucent Powder is it's so light that after a while, it just kind of disappears. Now I'm gonna go in with my highlight. Again, I'm gonna use the Hedwig One Highlighter Fan Brush. Place this at the high points of my cheeks. Oh, she glowing! the tip of my nose, down the bridge, and on my upper lip. I'm going to fill in my brows because they've had ample time to set. The Happy Skin Holy Grail Microblade Brow Pen in the shade Taupe. I'm not really gonna do a lot in terms of filling it in. A couple of hair-like strokes. 
set my face before I do my mascara. Barry M Fresh Face Dewy Setting Spray. This is one of my favorite setting sprays that I've recently discovered. Shuimura Lash Curler. For my mascara, I'm gonna go with my tried and true L'Oreal Lash Paradise. I don't understand why I always forget that this exists and that it's my favorite. It's the best mascara. It holds a curl beautifully. I never have to worry about smudging. I mean, come on! Mascara does everything. And the piece de resistance, the last part of my makeup before I spritz my face, is of course the red lipstick. I mentioned this in my Q&A. This is the Tom Ford lip color in the shade 10 Isabel. This is their Soft Shine Lipstick. I've only got the mini because this is what was sent to me. I feel like this is one of the best red lipsticks out there. Normally, I would use a lip liner, but I can't not, for love or money, find my MAC Cherry Lip Liner. So I'm going straight in. Because it isn't matte, it's actually so hydrating, but it's not slippy or like slimy. So it will actually stay. This is the makeup look done. I hope it looks like the makeup that I did in my Q&A. I use the same products and the same techniques, so if it looks a little different, I'm gonna blame the lighting because it is pouring outside. But I hope that this video was in some way informative. Maybe you learned a thing or two. Hope it was easy to follow if you're gonna be trying to recreate it. Do let me know if you decide to. I feel like it would be perfect for any occasion, not just Christmas, but if you've got maybe a Christmas dinner, a party with friends, family, or work. This would be a really easy, quick makeup look to slap on. All you really need is a red lip and some sparkly eyeshadow and you're good to go. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 19. Bye! Oh my gosh, just as I said bye, there was lightning that just... That is crazy.